Hello, good to be with you once again. In a previous video, I had said that India does not use the World Bank money it gets well. It's a mediocre use of that money. That's a harsh criticism, I think. And I had said that it is based on the World Bank's own ratings of the projects it finances in India. Today, I'm going to look at that rating scale that the World Bank uses and how it comes up with those ratings. So first, the rating scale. As you can see, the World Bank has only a four-part rating scale. At the top is satisfactory, followed by moderately satisfactory, and then moderately unsatisfactory, and then unsatisfactory. This is bank jargon. So what does it mean in normal terms? Satisfactory actually means good. When you read the reports and you see the targets, how well they have been met, you realize that satisfactory is just the bank's way of saying good. Next, moderately satisfactory is just the World Bank's way of saying fair enough. Not good, but fair. Moderately unsatisfactory means poor. And unsatisfactory, which is hard to get, is a fail a dud, a flop. Not very often does this rating get used. So here we have seen the rating system and we have understood what it means. And what it shows us is that only five out of the 10 large projects that were recently completed were rated as good. So it's natural to ask, how does the World Bank come up with these ratings? The ratings are based on the data collected under the agreed to monitoring and evaluation system. Before any money is spent, the monitoring and evaluation system has to be in place. And the monitoring and evaluation system collects data on an ongoing basis. The World Bank team looks at the data every three or four months and produces a rating every three or four months. And the final rating is produced when the project is completed. And that rating is available in a fairly large report. Let me show you the table of contents for one of those projects, that is the India Rural Water Supply Project. And here it is. In the table of contents, you will see two key items. 2B, which is called efficacy. And there's a term there, PDO. PDO means project development objective. In simple terms, targets. How well were the targets met? And 2C is called efficiency. This has two parts. One is economic efficiency. What was the economic rate of return? Not financial, but the economic rate of return. Was it good enough? And the second part is implementation efficiency. Was the project implemented in time? Was the project implemented within the budget that was allocated for it? And if there were cost savings, that's a plus. So this is how the World Bank produces its ratings. And in the report, as you can see, there are many other things considered, but those are not part of the rating. Those are just report items that are useful for the project teams. So that's it for today. I've shown you the way in which the World Bank rates projects and I've told you and I've shown you that India gets a good rating for only 50% of the projects that it completes. In the next video, I will look at some of these projects, starting with the good ones and then moving on to the bad ones. See you then. Till then, bye.